handpan fundamentals. Today we are going to be looking at rudiments and how they can apply to the handpan. If you're a drummer used to playing with drumsticks, you'll be really familiar with these, but we're going to see how they can be applied to the handpan. So we're going to start off with rudiment number one, single stroke rolls. A single stroke roll is exactly how it sounds. One hand hits, then the other hand, then this hand, then that hand. How does it get super duper fast? What we're going to do is a couple of exercises to put single strokes onto the handpan. Every exercise we do is right then left, so if you've just played with one hand, you can be sure it's the other one that's about to come next. We're going to play off on the ding, but if you don't have a handpan, you can use your legs. This is all about wrist and finger mobility, so it's useful to practice anywhere. Firstly, we're just going to play each hand. Go! Got the idea? Great, now we're going to split those notes in half so we're going twice as fast. Go! Now when we're playing at the slower speed, we're looking for an evenness between the hands. So if you do one hit that sounds a little louder or different from the rest of them, try and even that in and really focus in. Starting off at this slow speed is a nice warm up because it means we're really engaging our ears as well. So have a listen to how you can make your notes more even. Now let's split that in half again. Again, zoning in on the sound, but also we're starting to think about this up and down motion. As one hand comes down, the other one's coming up. Let's split it in half again. challenge here now is keeping them even. We don't want to rush, we don't want to get too fast, but we don't want to go too slow. So we're, even though we're dividing that click up, we're really trying to focus in, make sure they're exactly the right distance apart. As we start to get a little bit faster, make sure you keep breathing. People have a tendency to hold their breath and hope for the best, which is fine, apart from when you remember that we do need to breathe to live. So just try and keep those consistent, keep breathing through. I'm going to split it in half again, even faster. relaxation is key. But as we start to get faster, you can feel a little bit more that your forearms are having to work to get that going. So finally, we're going to string them all together. We're just going to do four beats of each one, getting faster and faster and faster and faster, starting off with the right hand. Change. So that's that exercise with the pointer fingers. Of course, we can do the same thing with the thumbs, we can do the same thing with the middles, rings, and even the little fingers. But that structure of exercise is so, so, so useful. Let's try and take that idea of using hand-to-hand -hand around the instrument a little bit more. that right
right, that left, that right, that left. As you get faster, you might experiment with split hand technique. You might experiment with using different strokes. But the idea is that it's always a stroke on the right and it's a stroke on the left. So how do those single strokes turn into a roll? Well, a roll is the drummer's way of sustaining. Just as a singer can say la or la. With the drums, we have a problem. Once you've hit the note, even with a hand pan, which can ring, it disappears. I can't make it sustain any longer than that. So I have to re-articulate, I have to hit again. But rolls aren't normally really square. On the hand pan, I don't want to necessarily hear every single note articulated. And that's where our ears come in. I'm listening out for the point at which my instrument sings. I don't need to hear every single note articulated perfectly. Just need to have my hands able to move fast enough that the instrument resonance picks up to itself. So have a listen. I'm just going to play it on the ding. Let's see if we can notice the point where it turns from exactly in time into a roll. And that's going to be different on every instrument and for every set of hands. So you just have to listen to your own. fast roll which gives one effect all the way down to a slower roll but either way I'm not trying to play rhythms exactly in time I'm trying to give the illusion of a sustained note and that's what can give us these really nice full chords so thanks for watching, that was an intro to single stroke rolls. I'll be making a few more of these videos focusing on different rudiments, so why don't you drop a comment with your favourite rudiment to use on the handband. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for a new video every week. Thanks so much for watching, bye! Four beats of each one getting slower and slower and slower and slower. <laughs> Four beats of each one getting faster and faster and faster and faster.